Jay got a real no, I don't think so. or a real beer can. Hey boys and girls, this is Ole Anderson from the Berkshire, Massachusetts Treasure Hunters and welcome to my channel and happy 4th of July. Uh, I am back in the little park here uh, in New England and uh, we're going to see if we can find some more. I put on the 11 inch coil this time, see if we can go a little deeper. I kind of wondered why we found so many Indian head pennies here and two cents and I dug into a little bit more of the history in this area right across the street over there well there's an old cabin where there used to be a, a foundation where there used to be a meeting house and Paul Revere was actually involved in uh, the very early stages of the colonial wars um, but there was also a military academy here from 1855 to 1885. It wasn't that long. It was here, but right across the street pretty much, a little bit further down. Uh, and my only theory is that they were over here in the park relaxing, if there was a park at that point. That meeting house has always been there, and I think that used to be a church, maybe kind of looks like it so if they were relaxing over here or whatever they were doing and dropping coins from and all of them is from the 1860s so who knows maybe they drop some more stuff here there's definitely stuff here every time I think this is hunted out it's not there's no silver I haven't found we haven't found any silvers here at all and I only got one explanation for that and that is this place been hit before, probably in the 80s, 90s, and they took all the silver, but it didn't go deep enough for all the Indian heads and two cents and all the old relics we found here. So I'm going to try some more and see what we can get out of it. So, but happy 4th of July, everybody, and enjoy your day. Got our first signal here, and it's uh, 85 again. It's crazy how the signals just pop up. It rained this morning, so it might be a lot more conductive. But uh, 85 could be rust, actually, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, I dug that quite wrong. It's in the sidewall. But let's see what we can get here. Without making a... Big mess. Oh, it's further down. There's some in the side wall and there's some in the... This is crazy that we keep finding stuff. There you go. I'll be quiet. Uh, what is this? Uh, That's kind of like a, I don't even know what this is. It's old. It got three screws that still adjust kind of. Got something round in the middle. Don't know what that was, but maybe there's more. Let's see if we can find some more down here. Oh, that was it. So, today's mystery item, I wonder what this is actually, that's kind of crazy. Boy oh boy, there's signals everywhere. There it is. 
Oh God. It's another pocket knife. This is crazy guys. We just did, I don't know how many hours here the other day. But yeah, this is a pocket knife. Could actually be the inside of a clock. I see a little, yeah. See that? I think that's the one of the arms. Well, it's still down here. Let's see if we can pull the rest of it without ruin everything. Well, it's already broken, but... There's definitely more in here. Might be a watch of some sort. Inside of a pocket wood. I can't see nothing, can you? Oh, that's a piece of wire. So that was just like... More wire. I think that was it. Here it is. That's why you gotta wear gloves and be so careful. Broadhead. Jay got a real. Yeah, I don't think so. Or a re real beer can. <laughs> real beer can. The weird thing was the beer can was an 87 and it didn't have that type of a it's iron. No, not that high. Well, unless it's a huge something. I don't see any iron. Who knows? Something about somebody might have dropped some silver. Is it in the plug? Ninety-seven. It's in here. Come on. So we actually went to a new park. We went to Norfolk. In Norfolk, Connecticut. We gotta get something. We haven't got something yet. Here we'll get clad coins and maybe bring who knows. A lot of clad coins probably. There it is. Here's a green one. Uh, no, just started to turn green. Regular pen. Finally got a dime. Uh, dime. Another dime. Oh yeah. It's almost whole. I know. Hand forged square nail. It's actually one of the oldest one I found. I can't believe I found an Indian. <laughs> uh, yeah. I might be able to read the date. Let's see. 82. Eighteen. Huh? Oh, I can't see what year it is. Eighteen. Fifty. No. When did they come out? I can't remember. Eighteen sixty. 56, 80, I can't see it, but anyway, it's an Indian. 1890. 
He's going to get mad now. <laughs> uh, mercury dime. Yeah. When you don't have any water, do like 58. Hack chew! I got something here again. Uh, one cent. Is that another Indian? You got another coin? Yeah. Uh, what? Might be a flying eagle. Uh, I don't know. I can't see it yet. I see the one cent. Where did I put the flashlight? Well, I'll get right back to you when I figure out what this is. Yeah, it's another Indian. How deep are you even going? Not very. That's the first in a while. Uh, buffalo. That one's in real good shape. That is one what? Oh, D. I I can't see what it says. Something AE. That's cool. Shield nickel. I couldn't see what it has, but it has a shield and a five. So shield nickel. Okay, we got something old here. I think. No. Why is a dime, regular dime, ringing up that high? A 90 dime. Something you don't see every day. Corner of a ruler. I think. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's lead. Is it to write with? No. It's heavy. Another Indian. 1902, I think. I just found the carver. I might just have found a Connecticut carver. I think I did. Oh, there we go. Connecticut carver. Everything is coming to the party today. Next time we need a gold coin. Everything is coming to the party today. We need a gold coin now. A bullet. Twenty-two or something like that. 